There she is. All right. We got that. Let's see what else we got to do. We'll get, right. Let's get the show started. All right. Give me just a second. One more thing here. Morty. Just about there. All right. Y'all ready? We're off ready when you are. Let me get my song up. All right, here we go. Julian my love show is here today. You don't want to miss a single word they say. Bring and you found there's someone near and far. Listen as they tell you now just who they are. Listen to their stories and how they tell. In just three minutes how they're doing well. Telling us what it's all about today. And how they are loving that old academy way on passive. It's a here today on passive. There's just no better way. Listen to the Julie and the Milo show. So then you can be the very first you know on passive. It's a here today. Julie and Milo show is coming your way Wednesday night on Passive. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Julie, Julie, take it away, Julie. Awesome. Thank you so much, Milo. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Wednesday night Julie and Milo show. Today is February 16, 2020. Two. My name is Julie Nguyen. I'm coming to you from Orange County, California. Today is a day that we lost a dear friend in our community. So before we even start the show, uh, as everyone received the news this morning, we lost Susan Bacal this morning, uh, is David Bacal from Papua New Guinea. So let's take a minute of silence to uh, dedicate and send prayers to his family um, and uh, the whole entire Papua New Guinea. Julie, I couldn't believe it this morning when we woke up and we seen the news. What a sad day for on passive. David Bacow, uh, most noble guy that uh, does so much with Papua New Guinea and Susan, you know, uh, just a sad day for on passive. Uh, we pray that uh, David, you know, we send our condolences to him and send prayers to him, you know. Uh, it's tough. It's really tough. But uh, anyway, well, we're here tonight. And remember, we're so glad to have you here because if you guys were not here, we would not have the Julie and Milo show. That's just the way it is. Me and Julie wouldn't come on here by ourselves. I don't think she'd just call me on the phone. But anyway, we got a great program tonight. Take it away, Julie. Tell us about it. Absolutely. So tonight we make our program, we dedicate our program just really to help with the sport coaches around the world, right? Um, not only that, we are hoping what we share here with the discussion we have here will help the coaches, uh, the sport coaches, the students, the managers, the supervisors, the parents, everyone that involved in the growth of this 
active young athlete or old athlete, it doesn't matter what, if you are involved in any kind of sport that you need some help, I do understand my daughter is in some type of sport and I do understand the amount of money that needs to put in there just to help them to have a well-rounded, active little body, right? So we all have kids, grandkids, and we know that the coaches, uh, the managers of the club, the sport club, the community uh, need a lot of help. And we do see that on passive has the tools and the services that helping all of them, us kids, grandkids here. So today uh, I have talked to Doug Mauro, who is from Laguna Beach, um, California. I met him in one of our in-person coffee, coffee meet on Friday morning and we chat and I found out that he's, he's not only a professional volleyball player, uh, he also coaches team. So I invited Doug here today. He's going to spend about 15, 20 minutes with us, but he's going to talk to us about what he as a coach going through the difficulties. And then hopefully, you know, all of us can chime in and help because Doug Mauro is also a founder of On Passive. He does understand it, but I do believe that other people who are watching this this live stream on a lot of YouTube channel will actually help them to understand what on passive can offer them, hopefully to give them the best. And that later on, when they go out there, they coach with the passion instead of money or the struggling that they have. So Doug, uh, without further ado, if you could please introduce yourself, how long you've been in on passive, what are you excited about it? And kind of tell us uh, being a coach and what do you see on passive help and what are the struggles uh, so that all of us can add into the values of the topic that we're talking here, we're talking about here. So Doug, Doug Merrill from Laguna Beach, California. All right. Hi, Julie and Milo. Thank you very much hey, for putting yeah. me on your show. Um, it's a lot of questions, Julie. You're going to have to refresh me if I don't answer it in order. Um, but so anyway, tell us who you are, why are you excited about on passive and I'll break into a few more. OK, so my name's Doug Morrow. I um, I live in Laguna Beach, California, and um, I played professional beach volleyball back in the 90s with the best players in the world. At one time, I was ranked like 48th in the world and um, and I'm only five foot eight and a quarter. <laughs> um so I had a good jump and I, I needed a tall guy and stuff like that. But um, then once we got to the, the U.S. had a bad economy in like 08, 09. Um, and I just kind of thought like, oh, my gosh, I need to be able to work on the Internet and make some money. Okay, I had all my eggs in the real estate basket and I'm uh, I, I just needed a source of income because real estate just went downhill um and so i started up a little beach volleyball club you know where i'm doing clinics and stuff like that with little kids and then um and i started working at like the top uh indoor clubs in the nation um the first one was called t street which if any of you guys have kids in volleyball they've probably seen them because they're always in like the top five in the nation and um and then now i'm at currently at uh 949 athletics which is uh more known for their boys volleyball um but what i see i got into on passive in october 8th i think is my date of uh 2018 and uh we didn't have a name didn't have a website or anything but the concept was basically when i went on the webinars then was hey we're going to do a one-stop shop where we're going to take all this online marketing stuff and we're going to and we're putting it all on one gui right so it's going to be on your desk and we're just going to be able to market because from 2009 to 2018 every little 
deal or scam I went on or something like that. It just didn't work financially because I would have to get a subscription to like GoDaddy for my, my domain name and my hosting. And then they try to upsell you on a package there. Um, then I would go, okay, well, how do I, how do I make a video? How do I edit a video? Okay. I'm going to get this type of editing software like Camtasia or something like that. And um, so I'm in deep for like two or $3,000, you know, then I had to learn each one and be able to flip back and forth from each one in order to even just get a small little product out there. Um, and once I heard about this solution, I said, wow, I'm in for sure. I didn't even hesitate. I said, my sponsor's uh, Tom. I forget his last name, but he lives in, lives in the uh, Philippines. And he, I just said, I'm in. He had my, he had my email from uh, some deal that we did about three years before that. We never talked or anything, but he, he sent an email. I saw it and asked him one question and and I said I'm in and uh got my whole family in it right away and uh so I'm really excited um but that's basically why I signed up but now that it's really improved and stop me if you want to ask a question now that I see that it's really you know gone from here right to just blossoming into this whole ecosystem it's just, it's kind of unlimited what you can use it for, I think. I mean, I think it's going to help any, any business that you have. So uh, in, the vo in the volleyball, go ahead, go ahead, Milo. Absolutely, Doug. Uh, you know, it, it is. And let me just ask you a couple of questions here. Now, you, you said you were a professional ball player, right? You, you, mm -hmm. So you were playing actually professional volleyball and you traveled yeah. around the country? Yeah, country and, and a little bit in Asia and Puerto oh. Rico. Okay, did you ever go up to Sault Ste. or Sault St. Joseph, Michigan? Because we used to have the. Uh, we went. I went. I played in Grand Haven. Grand Haven. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. right up by where I used to live. But but anyway, let's let's just take that right there, okay? And let let's talk about that for a second. Now, how how did you did you have to pay your way, or did did the team pay your way? How did well, that work? Um, if I got in about five years earlier, the sponsors were basically throwing money right. at, at the volleyball world like ten thousand a year for flights and and hotels and stuff like that uh, by the time i got in it was mostly just incentives like if you got pictures in a magazine or uh um you know interviewed on tv or something like that then you'd get maybe like a hundred bucks or something and um so it was, it was pretty tough for the guys that were you know it was only 64 players that can go on the tour each, uh, each stop. So, um, I was probably at the bottom, you know, I had to usually play like the ninth or 10th seed first. And, um, and so we would, you know, you'd win maybe like a thousand dollars a weekend and then you'd barely even play on Sunday. So you're just kind of going out because you're at that age. <laughs> so with, with zone passive, the way I see this helping something like that is, is, you know, you get a spot or whatever with on passive and you could get people to sign up and sponsor you or whatever. They buy sponsorships, they make money, but it also pushes you guys up where it pays for, for everything. Do you see that as happening? And, and I see that yeah. with the, the whole sports world. Yeah, I didn't even think of it that way when Julie and I were talking the other day um, because I'm mostly kind of applying it towards where I am now, which is more coaching and within the volleyball clubs. And um, But you're right, Milo. I think a, a good idea would be for any professional athlete to maybe make some videos. And what what is the um, – Academy? The, is it O-Net? Okay. But, or I mean, oh. is it a, not on that? Um, Academy. O Academy, you, you could teach on Academy. Yeah, no, I understand that. What's the, uh, what's the editing software one though? Oh, oh. Create. Oh, Create. Yeah. So Oh, Create's going to be, Oh, Create's going to be great. And then you could use Oh, Create, Oh, Capture to, to 
go outside, do some, do some uh, professional Absolutely. videos, right? And right. then you upload them to Academy and you got your whole, your whole thing paid for. Plus you're going to make money. Right. Absolutely. So go ahead, Julie. So Doug, you are the ones that know more sports than many of us here on the screen. So I like what, what I like you to do is instead of asking you the question, how it is, I like you to be the coach, like be someone who, because you are in that arena, right? You are in that arena, you know, the struggles of the coaches and the clubs are going through, right? And then I like you to say, okay, this is what we need to do. We need to have something that help organize a team, for example, help, you yeah, know, yeah. with the staff, keeping track of that. And once you, let's say, let's do one topic at a, this, the time, and then we're going to have Milo, Marty, Dan, everybody's kind of jam in, in that topic for about maybe 10, 15 minutes. And then we're going to go to another struggle because you, you are the ones that been in that field so that we can have kind of like discussion so that how can we, you know, let's on passive, products can help with that so let's say what's the first struggles that the coaches sport coaches that struggling with let's just do one at a time um i would say personally from the coaches rather than the club managers position is basically just dealing with your roster um sending out all the emails and stuff uh, i think uh you know really coordinating a calendar and um, I could see on passive helping in all this stuff in one spot right now. It's like, I, okay, I got to go into Excel. I got my list. Um, I got to copy my list every time I want to send an email, you know, cause I want to CC people and I'm not that good at making like a group on, on my emails and it's always changing. And some parents don't want to be on it. Some do. Um, so I think basically it's more communication um, to the parents but I can also see, hey, I want to, I want to get the kids aren't listening to something or or other. Hey, I'll do a short little video. I'm going to create a little video and I'm going to email that right to them, like super quick. That's the thing. Right now, everything just takes so long to to create. Right, right. So let's have Milo and then Dan to go ahead and kind of let's tackle that. How, how do we on passive products on passive solve that struggles that he's facing? Doug, uh, the perfect thing for the, what you're talking about. And I used to run a lot of uh, tournaments and stuff myself. And, mm -hmm. and that was always a thing, you know, you got to get the, you got to get the people, then you got to get the mm -hmm. calendar. You got to make sure the umps are there. You got to line all this stuff up, right? Yep. How nice would it be to go into OML? Have that all separated out. You got all of your uh, all of your team. You could put them into one group. So when you send that out, you could send it out. Now remember, you can send out a million emails at once. So if you're if you're running a tournament or you you got a team, you got all those teams in there that you build up over the years. You can send it out. Now remember, in OML, you also have a calendar. It's tied right to the calendar, so you can put it into the calendar. Uh, you know, and you could have that, uh, but it keeps you very well organized and, and uh, you know, the CCBC, you know, you can do all of them, you know, uh, but whatever you want to do. But the other cool thing, you said something there that with regular email, now with regular email, it's tough to send out an, a video, okay? But did you know in OMAIL, it's unlimited. You can put a 24-hour video in there if you want to. Wow. into that email you can you can coach those kids from there and and remember when you do a video and you do it once that's all you got to do it because they got they got that forever you were talking about oh, oh capture oh create you know you want that action shot of someone going up and ramming it down someone's throat or you in the back <laughs> digging one out or whatever you can get those action shots, and guess what? You can also write all across the picture whatever you want to. How cool is that? Those things will find their way into the magazines for you. Yeah. Hope that helped. Oh, that's great. That's great. What about Dan? Thank you, Milo. Yep. What about Dan? Dan has his hands raised also. You know, I, Doug, I just think it's a, a great thing that you're doing, and I just think about what, 
what Ash was saying the other day. First of all, Ash uh, pretty much humbled himself pretty well when he said he has a passion for learning. And he, he can hardly wait for Academy to open up where he can, he can look at all of the, the, different, the different courses and he can, he can continue to learn. So he's always learning. We're all always learning. We're, we're all learning at the same time. And I, I'm excited about that too. But when you talk about uh, your, your team and your sport, and he was talking also about creating that course. So you can have, uh, you'll be able to set up the topics for the day, or let's say the workouts for the day. You have the attendance, you have maybe some little quizzes you can give them about the, some of the fundamentals that they're, they're supposed to be learning. And, uh, and you have an agenda folder and you'll, you'll be able to show each one of them uh, has completed their task. And, and that's just kind of continuing education in addition to the workouts that they have and a mm -hmm. progress, a progress bar along the way. So you can create folders in, within Academy, and you can publish that course. I mean, if you wanted to take it to the next level, mm -hmm. you could take that course that you're developing and, and yeah. publish it to anybody, anywhere, sell it. You know, yeah, that's it's, awesome. That's it's, awesome. It's like right, right now, I just have a, a set of standards yeah written yeah. down it's like hey here's what your kids are going to learn this year you know yeah that'd and be that'd be great quotes, to track it one of the quotes that ash had the other day that just stuck in my mind was your class is a fraction of something massive mm -hmm. so think about that's just your class with volleyball but it could just explode into all kinds of other things that's just one product and one class and one 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 sport but you can you can just let your mind wander and, and there's, it's unlimited the, the amount of potential. I think that's why everybody's getting so excited. I'm excited. So now you got me more fired up, man. I don't have any skills. <laughs> I, don't have any skills. I, I couldn't teach anybody. I don't know what I can teach. Them. I remember. <laughs> I remember watching Dan at the very beginning of this. Yeah. <laughs> it was always he and Mike. That was funny. Yeah. Awesome. Right. That's my two cents there. Uh, good oh, job. That's great advice. <laughs> great. Perfect. Thank you, Dan. I'm gonna call on Marty. And then we're gonna go back and ask Doug another questions or problems, and then we can have everyone's chimed in. So Marty, you are up next. Uh, if you could please add some more value to what has been shared so far. I don't know if I can add value, but I want to say one thing, Doug. If Hang you on, Marty, Marty, you, if Marty, if you, Marty, you, Marty, Marty, <laughs> Marty. Can you stand up a little bit? I'm standing up. <laughs> How's that? There you go. All right. Well, I wanted to say, Doug, if you were ranked in volleyball at five foot something, uh -huh. you must be a freaking kangaroo, okay? <laughs> and, <laughs> congratulations for sure. I loved volleyball. It was my, one of my favorite sports, believe it or not. Oh, but like, like, like Dan was saying, you know, there's, there's such a big picture and on pass of what you could do, especially coaches. You know, you look at those staff and you say, well, staff is for a business. Oh, staff's for whatever you want to do. Yeah. The word staff, you got staff in sports, you got staff in music, you got whatever you want to do, you can modify it. And when you make a course or you're a training or whatever you're doing, you put that in. And anytime when somebody wants to go through that course, you give them a little freebie in the beginning and maybe charge a little bit. And like I said the other day, 1% of 100 million people, pretty good chunk of change, man. And, yes. and, and, and you know, without a doubt, there's other people on passive right now and they haven't marketed to the world yet, but absolutely love volleyball. Yep. Absolutely love it. And coaches are struggling. I don't care what sport it is. I don't need to know. I know they struggle. They struggle to get money. They struggle to get uniforms. They struggle to get sponsoring. When you get into a place like on passive with a platform like this, where mm, apples aren't going to be such a problem. And then somebody can go after their passion Lights out, Doug. Lights out. And there's no limit, like you said. People always want to look at the title and go, well, that won't work in volleyball. It will work. And you can set up yeah. anything you want, a video, a, a responder to somebody. And as they're going through the course, you'll also be able to know who got how far. Yeah. Right? And they'll know. So when they come back, I left off on video number three. I left off on video number four. I left off on seven. And they can go to this course and they're, they're going to recommend it to other friends because on a volleyball team, there's more than one guy, if I remember right. So it'll just spread and spread and spread uh, that kind of sport or any other kind of sport. So it, it's uh, 
it's mind blowing what what could happen. I, I know that people have been looking at on passive one dimensional. They look at the name, they're, okay, that's only good for this, and that's not the case. You can do a lot with it, and um, yeah. I'm glad you you guys are talking about sports today. So, and that's why I'm that's why I'm so excited about this to come out because uh, because. I wrote back in 08, you know, back in, when the economy was bad, I wrote, I go, okay, I'm a professional. I'm going to write an ebook. I wrote like a 60 page ebook and um, I'm, mar- I'm horrible with marketing, horrible. Right. But I think with the on passive system, you know, it's going to help me market that. I, I got to update it, but Marty, I'm going to send you a free copy of that. Very good. Yeah. The sky's the limit with on passive, no doubt. And you've got stuff to offer. There's people that want to hear it. Believe it or not, you just you see in any other market like Facebook and all that. It's not. It's cluttered. People don't know each other. Here, you put in sports and then volleyball. Come on, there's going to be thousands of people that love it. You can put in archery. You can put in basketball. You can put in, and, and um, you look like you're in pretty good shape. So I'm sure you play other things. You know, there's little league. There's, oh yeah, yeah. I I used to have one of those when I was seven. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Doug. No, <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. It's a, the sky's the limit, man. The sky's really the limit. Is. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much. Um, all right. I'm going to call on Tony. And then after Tony, I'm going to prompt another topic and we all can discuss about that. So, Tony, you are next. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate that. Yeah, very, very good advice, everyone. Hi, Doug. How you doing? Hi, good. I'm Tony nice Monk. To uh, yeah, the marketing part of it is just uh, the beginning. I mean, it's it's huge, right? You can automate this and turn it into a course and sell it on uh, old staff. I'm sorry, on um, um, Academy. I'm sorry, Academy. And uh, yeah, just automate it and sell it over and over again. You have to remember the traffic that we have is automated, guaranteed traffic, and they're guaranteed to look for what it is that you've got selling. So if you got a course in selling about uh, or teaching volleyball, for example, uh, you can automate that and sell it over and over and over and over again. You have to remember, we have billions of people on the planet that, uh, you know, are looking for certain things. Right. I don't know how big the volleyball uh, industry is, but if, it, if it's huge and it's in the I think interna- internationally, it's like right up there below, just below soccer. I mean, it's, it's okay. very, very popular outside of the U.S. So you've got now you've got that uh, you've got that uh, amount of people and 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 because on passive is a master at traffic, right? They're going to bring in the targeted people that are looking for exactly what you're selling. So I hope this is going to be your passion because uh, you're going to make a heck of a lot more apples with on passive, right? You know that, right? Oh yeah, can't <laughs> wait for that. Can't wait to shake that yeah. apple. Yeah, absolutely, buddy. Nice meeting you. Thanks. You too. Awesome. Milo? Yeah, uh, Doug, I wanted to bring up a couple other things. Uh, uh, one is uh, also, uh, just so you know, you don't have to charge for the thing. Remember, you'll still make money because people go in or they're drove, driving traffic to your site. And all the time, this is the cool thing about Own Passive that I love. All the time they're doing that. You're getting commissioned because people's buying it because they're coming there to see volleyball, but all of a sudden they see this whole big other thing. Now, one other thing we didn't discuss is old shop. Old shop, if you have any merchandise, you know, you got a shirt, a nice shirt, because those uh, beach volleyball guys always got these nice shirts and bright and all that, you know, uh, yeah, caps and anything like that. Remember, that will also be targeted that you can sell. And as you grow that brand, you know, that's going to be your brand. As you grow that brand, remember, people's going to want your stuff. And and like Tony was saying, you know, it's driving that targeted traffic, you know, and and Marty was saying it also, Uh, you know, so you don't have to do the work. It actually drives the traffic. But same way with your old shop, man, there's just so many things when you sit down and you look at all of it, you know, it's going to keep you organized. You're going to have a way to get a hold of people. At the same time, it's bringing people to you. If you're trying to build teams, it, it will do that. If you're old academy and you're teaching classes, you can do that. And, and you can make it evergreen where it teaches 
every time and you can get some of the best volleyball players around. Cause remember, if you're teaching them, you can put together teams where you go out and you get sponsors and then go around the world. If you want to, I think one of the things that I think that's going to be huge with own passive is most of the people doing own passive will no longer do anything that they're not passionate about. So in other words, if, if you don't love volleyball, why would you do it, right? But I see that you love volleyball, so you want to do it. But sometimes, because the money might not be there, you might not be able to do it. Whereas this way, you know, you get them, them apples coming in, all of a sudden it makes it easy for you to be passionate. I think that it's going to change the whole concept of now people are going to be passionate about whatever they're doing. And whenever you're passionate, it's always better. Yep. Hey, Milo, it's so, it's so easy. There? What's uh, that? Yeah, I just wanted to say that, uh, um, I'm sorry, hold on two seconds. I just wanted to say one thing, one more thing. Um, hold on two seconds. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Think about all the people that you're selling the book to, the course to, all the volleyball stuff to. Each one of those people has a potential of also becoming an independent reseller. Absolutely. You know, also becoming yeah. the founder's going to leave. And if they, each one of these people become an independent reseller, you're also getting another stream of income from that. So it's yeah, it's, it, it's incredible. I mean, it's just any contact you have, if you could just get them to listen to you for a second or send a, like I remember Ash told told us hey you send out a video and like some guy's 10,000 on YouTube right he's got 10,000 followers on YouTube right what if once a week he had his followers post on on passive and even a fraction of those guys in order to see the actual video they have to join on passive like with their email or whatever and then it automatically markets to them which is like hey i'm such a bad marketer of myself that um it's going to be a cakewalk yeah and now you're going to be a pro and you're going to be a hero to all these people right here's a here's one thing that i'm so excited to doug and uh touch on that just a little bit is that you know how when our kids or when the kids are uh, playing volleyball or playing games, we're parents, everybody's have to buy tickets to go, uh, to go watch it, right? Now with on passive, with everything that we are talking about, you don't have to charge the ticket or maybe you only charge the portion of it, right? And then you have all these merchandise that you create and you have your books, all the materials, they could spend money and buy that instead. You know, there are so much possibilities of what Unpassive can create and provide it to a business owner. So I wanted to bring in another topic, all right, about the management side of the clubs. Any, any clubs, any sport clubs has the management portion of it. So let's talk about that. And let's everyone kind of like chime in and and focusing on that side of it. So let's focus on management club. So I'll start it with you, Doug. Okay, well, right right now the struggle, and you could kind of ask other coaches from other clubs, like, hey, how does your manager actually, you know, do, do they manage the club that well? And, they, and they, the answers I always get are no. You know, they, it's, it's unorganized, it's da, 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 this or that. You know, these guys, they have to take care of, they have to, get tuition from all the, all the players, right? They have to contact all the parents on any little change. Like last week, we switched the schedules from instead of Monday and Wednesday to Monday and Thursday. Um, we had to, they, they got to, um, let's see, collect the money, do that. And then they got to order all the uniforms, right? Um, and they got to post every week, like, hey, what, who's playing where? and at what times and who do they play against and this and that. And we have to go to so many, I mean, I'm not the manager of this club, but I have a feeling I could do a little better. I don't want to knock him if he's in on passive. No, <laughs> um, but, um, 
but you know, then you have to take care of all your staff. So you gotta, you gotta have payroll and stuff. So O staff is going to be so beneficial for this. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I've, I've listened to the webinars on O staff and stuff, and I'm, I, I've never been a human resource guy, but it seems like it just has everything to offer where they could just manage everything and just sit down and save so much time of what I know they hate to do is to go and answer the emails, you know, and, and stuff like that. Or, but just to be able to go to one spot and have it all there and send it out for information purposes to the club, it would run that much smoother because the communication is horrible. Absolutely. It's there's so much. And now I'm going to I'm going to bring it back to Milo for him to talk about how some of the products of on passive can help with the management side of it. Milo. Absolutely, Julie. And I, I mean, we touched on some of them already. But when you when you talk about, you know, you give them a system called Omail where they can they can blast out exactly what you're talking about. And remember, it's also built with auto responders. So, so say if you do have a change and someone comes in with it, uh, it will auto respond back to them. If someone has a question, there's no need for that uh, manager to have to answer that question 50 times because everyone's got the same question. Hey, are we playing today? It's raining, you know, or it's, yeah. it looks like it's going to rain. You don't have to do that because remember, all they got to do is go in there, send an email. Hey, are we and it, it and it says, hey, if it says that, send them back this thing. No, we're not playing today, or yes, we're playing, or you show up at this time, or whatever. You know, so autoresponders are going to be a big thing in the email. Remember, you've already got your system built up where you've got the, all the people's names in it. You've got the parents' names. You've got the contacts. You know, sometimes they might have three or four different contacts. You know, and if you're looking through all this paperwork trying to find where it is, that becomes an issue, you know, so it's going to save you time. Anytime you can save time, you're going to save money, you know, and uh, the calendars are great. You know, you put it in the calendar, say, here's who's on. Here's our officials for the day. Or, you know, I need to make sure I contact them, make sure they're there. You know, uh, all this kind of stuff comes into play with that manager. And this will all keep him keep him in line, you know, uh, just almost anything that you want. And there again, we talk about the academy. Uh, he can use that to help build that, to build that team, you know, to build people up. You know, uh, he takes your, your thing and, you know, people are coming there and all of a sudden it says, hey, contact the manager, you know, if you want to sign up or however you do it, you know, yep. but that all guides everything back to it. You know, and I just see it as uh, helping in so many ways, even in the managerial. Okay, so let's talk about uh, uniforms. Okay, the manager is probably the one that gets all the uniforms for all the teams, correct? So yes, how sir. cool is it uh, instead of going to an outside source and buying your uniforms that we have old shop made up with whatever that name is, Okay, we got old shop, and guess what? All you got to do is go in there and click, and you get the uniforms for the team. You send the team, hey, here's where you go get them. Now, what about the parents that want a coat that says their kid is number 27 or whatever? Yeah. That can be in there. Hats can be in there. You know, uh, so you're keeping everything in with you. you. It it allows you to once you do that marketing, man, you just build that brand and you just keep building the brand. That's how I see it could help a lot. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's that's pretty mm -hmm. cool. There's so many products, right? I'm going to call on Tony, and then I'm going to add one more point, and then we can move on to the next topic. So, Tony. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate that. Yeah, I was just going to reiterate what uh, uh, Milo was just pretty much saying. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of products. Uh, there's um, Academy. Uh, where you can teach and learn uh, volleyball. There's old staff, which is a human resources platform. There's old desk, right? Don't forget there's also old bless. If you want to raise money to take the kids somewhere else, some someplace around the world, uh, you can raise money on old bless to do that as well. And, and, and it's also good for uh, fixing the equipment. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, so we've got we've got everything in non-passive. I mean, all the products where you can pretty much think of, oh, Connect is another one too. 
uh, that you can connect with them like on the Zoom call like we're doing here, right? Um, uh, yeah, and the autoresponder is absolutely amazing. If you have, if you have a huge team uh, of kids around the world uh, and you're trying to get an email out to them, it's going to be sent to them in a snap of a finger, right? Mm -hmm. uh, simultaneously to all, to all team members. So yeah, pretty much every product you can probably think of, you can, uh, you can probably use towards this, uh, this particular game that, uh, and I love volleyball, by the way, I used to love volleyball when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I'm just overweight right now. I'm probably not that good anymore. But that's, uh, that's my you can, problem maybe you too. Can teach me, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm vertically challenged now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, uh, Judy. I appreciate that. All right. Thank you, Tony. Um, Milo, do you have your hand raised? I do. One other thing that uh, I just thought of when uh, Tony was saying, "Oh, connect." Remember, don't forget, "Oh, connect." I you can it. play. 24 hour videos if you want to. Okay, so how cool is that for grandma and grandpa that's three states away to be able to watch their grandchildren play? Do you think they would they would like to have it? I can assure you that they would. They come to own passive. Remember, when they come to own passive, they get a steady dose of being marketed to own passive. They're gonna find something that they like. They're gonna realize they like Oak Connect because they can watch their grandchild play you know, in almost like a TV that, that, that you know, hey, the, the game's on, you know, bring all my friends over and stuff because the game's on and you can run them now on big screens or whatever. You know, Oak Connect is going to be another thing that will bring people together and, and uh, be good for us. Absolutely. No doubt about that. I wanted to bring on another topic, Doug, because um, when, I'm, when my daughter was in sports, um, mm -hmm. One was in volleyball, the other ones was in um, gymnastic, right? Travel, go on competitions, right? There are so many pieces that involve. Uniform is one that Milo brought up. Uh, traveling, where the, all the lodging, all the meals and the practicing schedule. Please talk about it. What do you see the struggles in there that, that all the club owners, sport coaches and every uh, managers or, or supervisors are struggling? Um, I mean, currently there's in the leagues that we're in, they have to go like, let's say we went to Chicago for like a big national qualifier or something. It's like, okay, well, everybody, it's called stay and play. You have to, your, your club has to order a certain amount of rooms. Um, you know, I think 70% of your team has to stay at the hotels that they offer or something like that. Um, but I don't know if that's a struggle, but just, I mean, signing up, signing up and just getting the word out. I mean, right now it's right now it's like, okay, hey, somebody like our manager's assistant sent out a club wide email about these tournaments in Vegas that, you know, are in April, but she sent it out in November and said, hey, get your hotel rooms. Um, here's the link. Um, but it would be great to like walk them through it, you know, and you could create a little video and that just, you know, while you're just on the app, oh, okay, I'm going to sign up. Here's how I sign up. And you go in there, and then you could edit, edit out any of your important information. You could kind of hide it real quickly um, and then produce it and just say, Oh, and here's an example of how you sign up. And they would just, they would get rid of so many questions to the coaches that don't even know the stuff, which they shouldn't need to. Um, but for the management to just like have a peaceful day once in a while without all these questions being flung at them at the last second, you know? I think I, I so agree with you. And I think to organize a group of people to travel to one place. There's so many pieces to it. Um, uh, for me, it's like I'm more talking about the organizations of travel, you know, of, of traveling team plays and who's showing up, who's not. I mean, you have to follow a certain kind of protocol uh, for the team. Not only that protocol from the states that you have to follow, uh, you know, with through this pandemic, you have all kinds of things that you have to put together. What I see is that old desk, you can help you organize it. Uh, you know, old staff, obviously we have the managerial part in there. 
anyone like to add more into it? Dan, Milo, anyone here that wants to add more into that piece of puzzle that we're trying to put together? I Milo? will. Uh, it, I see this as a, uh, once again, I, I, I see if you were to take whatever your team is or your, your brand, your thing, and you put a spot in for them, and people sign up underneath that. I think that would eliminate all the things. And I feel sorry. I'll tell you right now. I used to do a lot with sports and uh, and with kids and stuff like that. And a lot of it wasn't near as bad as it is now. With all these things, the money you got to pay, and you know whether it's volleyballs. You know, I don't know what a volleyball costs, but I'm sure. Every kid's got to have a volleyball. Every kid's got to have this. I got to have that. How cool is it that is if you had over time, now it won't happen right away, but say you start and you start bringing in people and they start bringing in their grandparents and they start bringing in this one and that one that wants to watch the game. And all of a sudden they're watching these kids. Guess what that's doing? That's building the funds up so that you could pay for all the rooms. You know, and when you pay for all the rooms, are you going to have a lot better team? Absolutely, you're going to have a lot better team because you can get whoever, probably a lot more kids involved, and it becomes bigger, you know, and so you can have have more. But whenever you take that away from children or their parents, because it is a tough world right now, and there's a lot of people struggling, you know, to try to make ends meet. So when we can do something like that, and, and I like to say, you know, I almost look at on passive now, not really as a business, but as a humanitarian uh, type movement, you know, that we're able to help people. And, and, you know, I love talking about stuff like this because uh, it gets my mind going, you know, uh, what can we do to help this? How can we help it? And, and man, just by buying a spot, I believe that's going to eliminate a lot of that problem. You know, uh, now you don't have to worry about them thing and you just send in a thing, hey, I need 20 rooms, you know, boom, and you pay for it. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, then you I, you, hey, a couple of things just came to my mind the way you were talking there. And um, if you think about it right now, I mean, each kid here and probably all across the country that's playing volleyball, and I know there's some. I know there's some nonprofit clubs as well, but um, it's costing these parents anywhere from 5,000 to 7,000 a year, especially if you're on a good team and you're traveling a lot, it's going to cost a little more. And how sweet would it be to get manager of the club to buy a non-passive? First of all, he'd be under me. (laughs) Um, And then, um, and then right at the beginning, you could basically, if everybody joins on passive, it basically will pay for itself and they're going to make money off of it and they're going to use it for other businesses. And you're just tapping into, I mean, we got to have probably like 250 kids in the program, you know, and then, and there's, there's, I mean, you guys should see when you go to Las Vegas, there's a hundred courts long, 100 courts at least i think it's like 120 courts and there's 24 kids on each court i mean if that could just get these guys to do free volleyball you know oh absolutely and um because there's a lot of people that struggle with that oh i can't afford club i'm like i'm not gonna play you know um like julie (laughs) go ahead let milo let milo speak to that and then i'll add my part to it Doug, let me ask you one question. Do you think that if you told your manager about it and he signed on, do you think when you went to tournaments and people seen you paying for rooms and paying for volleyballs and stuff, do you think there might be any other teams that might be interested? Yeah, like they it would get the word out like, oh my gosh, this club is so cheap. I, I'm, I'm bringing my kids there and they will end up being the best club. Well, even if they don't think about this, what if they brought their team to own passive and now they're doing the same thing? Is that going to help your team? Absolutely. Whoever gets in first 
is so far of everyone else, right? Because now you get in, you teach them what you're doing, how you're making money, you know, and how you're you're treating your children. Everyone in the world is going to want their kids treated just like that. So they're going to say, how did you do it? It's a great, great way to say, hey, you know, this little thing called on passive that I got in, right? Uh, so I think it will just explode. Absolutely. You know what, Doug, you brought up the point that parents who are paying for kids that join club, right? Um, my daughter joined uh, gymnastic clubs ever since she was about four years old, right? Every month, a thousand dollars fee out of my pocket, wow. paying for her gymnastic. Not only that, a jacket, just a normal jacket, right? with the label, with some sparkly label on it. I paid $325 for that jacket. Oh I wouldn't even God. spend something like that for me, right? A thousand dollars out of pocket. Every time when we go travel, I have to buy my own hotel room, obviously, travel, all those travel expenses, right? The kids having fun, right? Whether or not they win or lose, they're having a, a, a blast, but parents are the ones that are suffering, right? So the reason why I brought this up, and I know you play volleyball. My daughter wants to play volleyball. My daughter, 11, she wants to play volleyball, and we all know who lives here. We know the best club here, right? But I can't afford to pay for it. I bet you. When on passive, bringing the apples to my pocket, that's where I'm putting my daughter, right? That's where I want to put them in the sports that they want to play. You know, it doesn't matter. As long as I can get them out and play with any kind of sports, and that's a dream of so many parents to want to put their kids on some sport teams, right? Dan, I saw your hand raise. I liked you to Speak what's oh, I was I just heard you talking about different sports. I mean, volleyball is one thing, but I just have a lot of friends that uh, and, and I'm sure a lot of you do, too, that that have kids that play hockey. Oh, my gosh. There, there aren't there aren't hockey. There's an ice. They, they got to go find ice. And if they're going to find that ice, they got to find it at three o'clock in the morning. So parents are traveling all over the place to try and find ice. And the equipment for hockey is there. There you go, Tim Dillon. <laughs> is crazy. So yeah, the expenses, the expenses for the parents, it seems like in the old days, uh, everything was provided, but now uh, it, it all goes on the parents and you might have some really good athletes out there that really want to play and are very talented and they can't because their parents can't uh, afford it. And so what a, what a, what a great spot for Oh Bless, you know, to, to help some of those parents out and, and uh, it's just, it's just endless the kind of things that on passive can do for for all these parents and getting them involved with as an independent reseller or a founder uh, very soon uh, uh, they have a limited time to do that but it's just amazing the opportunities that are available to help kids and parents and and everybody with this company so absolutely that's all I have. Thank you so much. And, you know, we're talking about gymnastics. We're talking about volleyball here. There's basketball. Flor Dane in, in Colorado, you know, her, her kid is playing lacrosse, you know, basketball, tennis. I mean, swimming, all kinds of sport out there that we actually can help. And, and if your team, Doug, or anyone's team that have the ability to have these children joining in the team for a portion amount of money to pay, I mean, imagine how excited it is. Now, the coaches, the parents, the kids, all their focus is their passion, not how hard it is that I have to come up with the money to pay for this sport or that sport, right? You know, so I'm going to send it over to Tim and then to Marty. And then I'm going to check on your time, Doug. Uh, yeah, but but one, one, one note on that is once you get the parents in, like through the email system or whatever, it's like, then they're going to see, wow, this is a very useful application. I might put this into my business. Exactly. And then that will just snowball. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to call in Tim Dillon. Thank you, Julie. Doug, great story. 
Um, I thought you were golfing. Well, <laughs> that's my uh, that's my passion, and I know a lot of golf professionals. And with the number of golf courses in my local area, they are always running tournaments to raise money for this, to raise money for that. I see this as a big help for them to get people involved in those tournaments and to get people to show up. I see that it real big. And uh, we also have uh, midget football. We also have, you know, little league. And they are all suffering, not only from the pandemic, but just lack of interest. If they can get this, the word out to the public and draw people into these, maybe they will be able to grow and get bigger so the kids have more fun. The parents have more fun. Grandparents have more fun. The whole bit. But uh, I see this being a, in golf. Oh, my goodness. This could be huge. And it goes beyond the local level. It could go professional. Absolutely. I'll be the first student for golf, whoever here in Orange County. <laughs> I'll enroll already, myself in. For I already sure. golfed twice this week. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I wish it was warm enough here. Uh, Got to come visit. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. I'm going to have uh, Milo. I'm sorry, Marty, if you could please unmute your mic, Mar Marty. Yeah, another thing while we were talking, I was thinking, you know, to get parents and other coaches and everybody to stay up, you know, tar you know, involved in what's going on. What I would, what also you could do is, as you're talking to uh, parents and coaches and trainers or whatever you have, you tell them to stay, to stay plugged in. Come join me in this group, and that group happens to be an O-Net. So when they come in, now they're part of your team. There's also part of your team in Unpassive. And then at that point, when they do decide, you know, this might help in my business, this might help, or that might help, they're already plugged into you for the rest of your life. It, it could mean a really, really big deal. And if you look at it that way, especially like with emails and all that, who gets them, who doesn't get them. But if you made a post in your group in Onet, they're going to automatically get a notification. Doug put something up in there and they're going to go see what it is. Now, as their kids get older and the other kids, they're going to bring their kids in because they're not coming in thinking it's a business because the part they're using is communication. But in reality, you're also going to get money in the hands of other coaches, other parents who can buy these jackets and uniforms and all the sports equipment and all that. So, it's really, really big. I mean, there's there's no end to what we could uh, put together with on passive for sure. Yeah. Absolutely, the possibilities in on passive is endless. All right, uh, I see Peter Rogers in the house. Peter, if you would uh, please raise your hand, um, unmute your mic. Hi, everybody. What a Hello. great, uh, <laughs> a great webinar. Um, I just don't want to uh, give my ten pennies worth and. <laughs> Um, I've, um, I'm a black belt at Taekwondo. I've been a black belt now for I don't know, 20 years. Um, I've run my own clubs and uh, I've taught people from white belt up to black belt level. And, uh, you know, what you, some of you guys are saying, uh, what Doug's saying about implementing this, uh, you know, these, these ideas into different organisations, you know, different clubs. You know, we've got a million founders here and there's a million founders. Out of those million founders, there's going to be a lot of people who are obviously involved in different sort of organization sports. So, you know, we can implement this across the board. There's so many things that can happen, you know, that we can use with OnPassive into these uh, organizations. 
it's just phenomenal. You know, I just want to say that this is, you know, you, just what we're talking about here is just a little minute thing, really, on passive. This just shows how big on passive is going to be. Um, you know, that's that's what I really want to say. And uh, you know, just to give you an example, I, I mean, I I've been involved in this um, as I said for a long time since you know for about well, three years now, three and a half years, and. Um, I've actually uh, got a, uh, thinking back now, I mean, I, I, I one of my uh, positions, I put a, a position for a for Taekwondo, and it's Peter Rogers, take, uh, uh, Taekwondo, uh, KKTKD, uh, gmail.com. And uh, I, I put that, you know, in ready to do this sort of thing, you know, for this, what we're talking about. So it's great to, to sort of know over the years that this is coming. And, uh, you know, so I just wanted to say that, really. So thank you for letting me speak. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Peter. It's good to see you. Milo, do you want to add some more point to it? Yeah, Peter, that was a great thing you just said. And I was just uh, thinking that when um, I think it was Dan said about, uh, you know, Dan said about hockey and the, and Tim said about golf, remember, no matter what it is, sports wise or whatever, you know, you got dancing clubs, you got uh, little league, you got uh, major league, you got high school baseball, high school football, basketball, any sport whatsoever, this will work on. So expand your mind and think about it. You know, think about how it will help. And, you know, if, if you uh, if you have any questions afterwards or something and you want to text me or call me or something, I love helping people come up with ways. How will it help? I used to run a lot of tournaments. And what Tim was saying, this will do wonders for tournaments. I used to run softball tournaments back in the day. Uh, men's softball slow pitch was very big. And I would draw people from uh, Indiana, Michigan, Illinois to come to my uh, tournaments. And why did that happen? Because I run a good, clean tournament. I never cut corners on trophies. I had the biggest trophies that you could have. I also hired the best umps. You know, there's places you cannot cut corners. And once you start running a good program, you don't have to, uh, you got to keep people out. In other words, there's not room for everyone. Same way with umps. I never had to worry about getting a good ump there because I paid them well. They all wanted to do my tournaments because I run a tournament. I run it on time. It was scheduled. This will take care of all of that. And, and that's the same way with if you're running a golf tournament. You run in a golf tournament and you want to raise money. There's no better way than to have my own passive involved in it. There is no better way, you know, so uh, just uh, keep your minds open for something like that. Doug, go ahead. Um, hey, I, I just got a question for you guys because you know way more than I do. Um, isn't there a thing like like let's say you are running a tournament because sometimes I'll run these beach tournaments and, um, you know, we get about 60 people joining. Is there a way to do O-Pay? Is that something like like how do they pay for the tournament? You know what I mean? As long as and, and if they do okay, do they, that should automatically right there say, hey, you know, because right now you could do Venmo or whatever, but you go, okay, try this new app, okay, boom, once they pay, then they're in your marketing deal, you know, I mean, is that right? So right now we don't have the opay right yet. Not right, yet, Milo? not yet. But, right. but, but we have think about wallet. the wallet, oh, think wallet. about yeah, all wallet. wallet, right? That's what it so, is. The, the only people can use O Wallet, they have to be in on passive, no, you know, as either founders or customers or, you know, they have to have a wallet. So it's really easy. All you got to do is here, pay them, make the payment just like that. You have to have, they have to have the O Wallet. Milo, do you want to add more to it? Well, I was just going to say, whenever they use O Wallet, remember the benefit to using anything on passive, you're getting paid for it. Oh, yeah. So once people see that, you only have to have one come in and you start sending him his pay. 
and he automatically gets his pay right now. And the other guy's waiting for his check to come in. I don't know if you send checks by the mail or however you do it, but you know, maybe they're waiting for theirs to come in or it's more of a hassle than this guy. But all of a sudden, this guy over here with O, o, o Wallet looks in his wallet and he says, man, he says, I got 200 extra apples in here. Do you <laughs> think that's going to get around to the, the other guys? Absolutely. Yep. You know, and I do believe that once this thing, once this own passive hits and that first nickel drops into someone's wallet, it is lights out because everyone at that point is going to want to get in because they know that that money is going to be coming in. Yeah. My opinion. But do you guys, oh. do, you, do you see how that can work for a, a tournament that you're hosting oh, for them? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Old wallet would be a great thing to, uh, to, and to not only to pay your players, but what about the referees? Yeah. But I mean, referees. no, I mean, I'm talking about for them to pay an entry fee. Oh yeah, absolutely. And okay. they, they could pay right in. And, and actually, you know, what you could do is give them a discount, you know, maybe Jack, the other pay up a little bit and give them a discount or give them a discount. That's a good idea. Remember, good idea. If you give them a discount. Now they get old wallet. You're going to get paid every month for that. The rest you know of what your I'm life. <laughs> commission coming out. Yeah. Hey, Milo. Yes, sir. You could do that very easily, but what about this? I'm running a golf tournament. And I want the proceeds. They're going to go to a certain charity. Why can't I tie it to a bless? Truly, you could do whatever you want when you have the tools in your hand. It's really based up on it's. It's really up on you. It's really up to you to do whatever you want. I, I always say, say that, Julie, because sometimes the golf tournament fills up. But there might still be people out there that want to donate to the cause. Exactly. I think it's really up to you once you have all the tools and um, all the possibilities. I, I see possibilities, possibilities. Anything you can think of, it can happen, right? Very good. Very good. Yeah. Anything you can think of. So um, right now, um, Doug has about 10 minutes. I want to hear from Naraj, though. I he just jumped into the panel. I'd like to hear from Naraj, and then we're going to send it back to Doug um, because I know he has about 10 minutes. So, Naraj, I'd love to hear from you. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm from India, so uh, I can't talk much about golf tournament, but I can talk about my national sport, which is cricket. And people are uh, crazy about cricket, but... Uh, there are a lot of other sports where uh, people are uh, uh, people are very much interested. For example, India has uh, has not got much medals in Olympics, and the uh, participation from the government is limited. The funds that they give are to Indian athletes, uh, and I think Obelis will be a wonderful thing where uh, the all the people from India can actually contribute uh, towards the infrastructure so that uh, the Indian athletes uh, actually get better facilities and uh, they go uh, uh, to the Olympics uh, well prepared with all at level with all the other athletes in the world. That is one thing I can think of. Second thing is about merchandise. And third thing, I, I uh, actually know a lot of athletes who have, who have a very good profession uh, and then they spend a lot of money and they, then they become very poor. So that is one thing uh, I would actually tell them to uh, put the, uh, maybe the coach can drive, uh, uh, can invest their money in, uh, uh, in, uh, on passive. So even if uh, the, even if they retire, they will always have income coming. So these are three things I can actually think of. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nirai, for your contribution. Um, you know, I was going to bring up the topic fundraising, but we all kind of tap into it a little bit more here and there. What I'm picturing, Doug, um, and everyone who are, who are having a team, you know, all it is is that you could buy an extra position, right? An extra founder position and designate it into 
your own oblast. It's not necessarily the company oblast, but it's like the team oblast, right? Because you know, once when when travel come to clubs and traveling for kids, it costs so much money. Their families cannot travel because they couldn't afford it. But if we have a little fund that's set aside for that individual club, you know, I think it's going to be great. At the end of the day, everybody's traveling, play sports, and doing it. It's be, it's a quality of life that people are doing it instead of about worrying money. So that's something that I wanted to to add on to it and kind of wrap up our discussions. Doug, thank you for being here. I know you got to go, but anything else that you feel that's, um, you know, other coaches, other sports and managers and uh, supervisors can find um, something that we can help here on Passive Can Help? Um, I can't, I can't right now really think of anything. Drawing a blank, Julie, drawing a blank. No. That's all right. Uh, That's all right. But Naraj, I, I like Naraj's good, good points, Naraj. And did you know, Naraj, that uh, this past week in the PGA, the guy, even though he's from Orange County originally, which is where Julie and I live, he was, he looks Indian to me. He almost won, but look for him. He's going to get very popular, very fast. Niraj, you here? He probably went to bed. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. No, no, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, Milo, I see your hand up. Yeah, I just wanted to tell Doug, Doug, thanks so much for coming today and opening up and asking us. Hopefully, were we able to add any value to you? Oh, yeah. You guys opened up my mind of just like, I mean, now it's even rolling even more like, hey, I got to get off my butt and start start talking to these guys, you know, because I mean, just because I know I know like three or four club managers, maybe even six um, that can use this. And um, and hopefully you guys are recording this. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'll send it to you I, might when have we're to, done. I might have to just send it to them and they can and they can look at it because I really think you know it'd probably be like if they got in now and then hopefully it's all ready to go by the next season which is like right around Labor Day um, just after Labor Day so probably think October then they can use it this next year and that'd be that'd be awesome for them so I might even have to buy them each each a membership, you know, because he'll pay back like twenty times. I mean, many times, absolutely. And and like I said before, you know, I see this spreading from team to team to team to team, you know, and and getting real big that that you can push it. But once again, I want to thank you for coming today. You added a lot of value to it, also. And uh, so we'd like to thank you for coming to the Julian Milo Show. Right. And thank you guys for doing everything that you guys do. It's awesome. And you, Marty, you're the man. <laughs> right. Awesome, Doug. Thanks so much for, for coming on. I'll see you next time when I see you. Right, um, I enjoyed it. Awesome. Thanks so much, everyone. If you are listening to the conversations, you do understand the fact that we bring some values up. We bring some more, you know, just kind of like having looking at on passive in different directions, in different angle, right? So if you hear this and you happen to know someone that in that arena, it is something that you want to take this and share it with other people. We do a live stream across, you know, in on passive YouTube channel, on passive nation, Marty DeGamo, uh, Bill Musk, Red Redfern, and especially for all of our guests here, we're from the Julia and Milo show, and we do have the channel that actually watching live stream um, here as well. We appreciate everyone's that watching and everyone's that participate in here. It's really easy to share and not only to share on passive, but really think about on passive outside of what we're seeing so far. Because when you come to those these discussion, I guarantee you, you probably have some light bulb movement that actually kind of like lit up, like make you really, um, you know, think about it, right? Am I right, Milo? That's right. <laughs> All right. 
Um, let's have um, our panelists here, if you'd like to add more to what we're discussing so far, any questions that we may help. Um, not we as Milo and I, but everyone here can add into uh, what you're thinking of. Um, and then this coming Saturday, we are going to discuss how on passive could help with churches, pastors, temples, anything you can think of, charities. We will talk about that on Saturday. And then on Wednesday next week, we're going to talk about real estate, how on passive can help with real estate agents, real estate company, loan officers, escrow officers, escrow company, anything you can think of in that arena. We wanted to bring that discussions on the table uh, in the next couple of weeks. And we have other topics coming. So uh, that's plug two in. Big ones, Julie. That's two real big ones. Yes. Churches and realtors big. are big. Absolutely. Don't Let's hear. Hey, uh, Julie, can I say something? Oh, absolutely, Marty. Always. Yeah, I. Uh, I'm just. Uh, I just gotta know. This lady Dixie looks just like Ty Young, and I want to know how how this is possible. O M G. All right, Harold, if you could please uh, let me call on Dixie. <laughs> that looks like Ty Young really quick before I can get you, Harold. Thank you so much. All right. Some some ideas you guys just like provoked in me. I are you answering Marty first? <laughs> what? Why are you? You look like Ty Young, but your name is Dixie <laughs> Googled. Or yeah, I'm over at George's mom's house right now. Ah, this is a bedroom. Yes. Go ahead, Ty. Go ahead. It's Ty. a rich person's house. <laughs> hey uh anyway um gaming systems right i was thinking like i i've seen a lot of the youtubers right doing a lot of gaming stuff and they got this guy that uh likes to give money to people just like randomly give money to people in their gaming systems and i thought well what if we could have uh a, a game system where that people can win a position on passive, you know, <laughs> or some kind of roller skating rink, right? You had, is anybody went to roller skating, right? You'd have like kid thoughts or thoughts about when you went roller skating and all that, right? Well, anyway, I had thoughts about um, people, all the people that are coming into the roller skating rink somehow set it up to where they can get in on passive somehow too. But I wouldn't know exactly how but i'm just saying be able to help kids families because i've seen a lot of poor kids come into those places that don't have nothing you know and they they come in broke and been dirty and grungy and they even told me kids even told me that their 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 personal situations you know what i mean where they they can't even afford the clothes to look nice in the roller skating rink Anyway, uh, the roller skating rink here in Canton, not too far away from here, they have a big, big old game room, and they have all kind of bumper cars and all kind of stuff. But you can win tokens, right? And so I was thinking maybe we could have some kind of gaming system where people can win tokens for positions on passive or something like that. You know, it's just just some ideas anyway. I don't know. Guys are talking about sports and that. I'm like, well, I know a lot of people that gamble, you know, and do a lot of gambling and stuff. So, too. So, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just got some ideas. That's all. All right. There's ways to do that, Ty. We'll talk about that shortly. Uh, Harold, go ahead, Harold. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, I've been in on passive since May 19. And my whole perspective on the business itself was business. Never thought about athletics. I'm a former professional basketball player. And the, the possibilities are endless. I mean, just listening to him talk about volleyball, and I put it in perspective of basketball and various other sports. 
Man, there's so many things that you could do. The, the kids have parents, and parents need help. And it just goes on, and one thing leads to another. And I just, just, boom, slapped me in the face and said, wake up. <laughs> that was awesome. I really enjoyed your program tonight. Thank you so much, Harold. Really, truly, what our goal, our purpose of the Julie and Milo show is just to help kind of like, you know, I look at things differently in different angle, right? So I, I use the struggles or I use the obstacle or the problems I have in life and I'm searching for solutions, right? So one of the things that I am struggles is to be able to put my daughters in the sports that they want to play, right? My daughter who is in college who so want to play volleyball, right? But being a mom right now, focusing on, you know, try to, you know, let them go to school and do everything I could. That is an extra money that we all require to have in order for them to join clubs. So if anyone that are parents, right, this is it. If you're raising little child who's active, who wants to go out there and just keep playing, who knows? Future athletes right there. So all you got to do is basically take what you hear here. You don't have to explain it to anyone. Take this video and go out and share with other people. And I believe it's going to help other people to chime in to, hey, you know what? I can use on passive to do this. I can start my own little, little, little league, right? I can do that in my local community. It's, it's endless. I, I, it's, it's truly endless. So. Yeah, it's there's a lot of homework for you, Harold. <laughs> All right, Milo, I think you want to address uh, Ty. Is that it? Yes, I, I would like to actually, and Harold too. You know, and the thing about this, the thing that we want to do with when we talk about something like this, it's all about exactly what happened to Harold, because we were talking about something else. Harold's mind was opened up to something and he realized that, hey, what if I could do that? Which Harold, <laughs> there's a ton of things you can do. If you, I think you said you was a professional basketball player. And if your passion is basketball and you want to help kids, what better way than start O Academy where who's not going to want to send their kid to a professional basketball player to learn? And, you know, whether you charge or whether you don't, it doesn't matter because remember, you're still going to get those apples because of the people coming in. And that commission at the end of the month, I don't care what it is, it's going to outweigh whatever you could charge. OK, that's my feeling. Uh, not that you don't you could charge too. you know, whatever you want to do. Now, I want to go back to Ty because Ty brings up something that's very challenging, you know, and has anyone thought of it? You know, when he brought it up, uh, uh, I haven't really thought of it, but I can see how it would work. Ty, what if you started a competition? So you're, you're, uh, I believe it, correct me if I'm wrong, but you want to get some kind of tournament going or something with these people with PlayStations or whatever, and they want to do. So what happens if you, uh, you charge an entry fee to get into this, maybe 50 bucks or whatever, to get in but the prize is that if you win you get one spot which is worth or you get two spots which is worth four hundred dollars or you can take one you can take two hundred dollars cash whichever you want to do okay now you're going to win both ways because the person coming in that that takes two spots realizes that that, that four hundred dollars is going to grow much bigger and guess what when it grows much bigger guess who else it grows for it grows for you. That is the beauty of own passive. And we used to, and I say this all the time, and I'm sorry for repeating myself, but we used to sing a song in church said, there's joy in giving. And I found it to be true that the more you give to Jesus, the more he's going to give back to you. And own passive is the same way that I don't care. You know, uh, when you give and you give a spot to someone, remember, you can never lose on that. Because that is like buying a winning lottery ticket. So if you buy a spot at $200, 
that $200 is coming back to you or those apples are coming back to you. Sorry, guys. I, I have a hard time not saying that M word. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, that's that's what I think. Ty, does that make sense to you, what I just said? Hey, that's, you just put a great idea in my head. I, I got a great idea from that. Okay. I'm going to awesome. – they do racing at roller skating rink mm -hmm. that I go to. And – I have extra money that I can put into it, but I can give out prizes, like you're saying, Absolutely. and get people in to it, like the family members, families that come in, like the, the mother and father, they're the ones that want that want uh, best for their child, child, and they they come in and and watch the kid race, you know, to win prizes in that. So that part of the prizes would be that for me. So that's what I would try to. You know, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm actually, you can do that. You can I'm going to do that. <laughs> you could also, the other thing is, don't forget, trophies are not that expensive. And you can buy a no. big trophy and still keep a lot of that money and put in to, to give away. But whenever you give away a spot, remember, not only are you giving away a spot, but it's coming back to you. It's helping you out. Another thing too, I want I wanted to bring up was an NFT was non fungible token, right? Rich people buy them, and I'll give you an example of one, right? A digital a digital picture of something that represents on passive, like say like a let's like a gold a gold Sorry. coin. Sorry, Ty. Let's uh, let's That's put cool. that uh, for another topic because we're focusing on sports and. Team yeah, right like now. Not, not on the token parts right now. Well, I'm talking about it's a, it's a prize, really, basically. Right. To give to them too, yeah, let's, so. let's, let's, yeah, uh, let's do that for that another part, time. For the other okay. discussions. All right. So we have Elaine Bradley and we have Marty and then we have Leon and we'll see how the time goes for everyone and then we'll, we'll, we'll call more. But uh, Elaine, I see you have your hand raised. Did you want to say something, Elaine, to add to the conversations that we have? Elaine, Bradley, going once, going twice. Yeah, I had to unmute myself. I'm sorry. That's okay. Go ahead, Elaine. I've been in since 2018. Uh, this is the best webinar I've ever seen. It gives you more information. It gives you more ideas. It just really, it boosted me up a lot. It really has. And I want to thank everybody for all their hard work, for everything they've done for. Thank you, Elaine, we appreciate you. All right, Marty, I'd love to hear from you. If, we, if we've learned one thing tonight, if you, could, if you can think about it, you can do it. I mean, there's nothing out of the way. You know, I heard Niraj talk about cricket. Now in the United States, we know what a cricket is. You try to step on them when they get in your way, right? But cricket, yeah, yeah, but cricket is one of the biggest sports in the world, far bigger than NFL football. It's one of the top sports in the world, fan base, the biggest. And there's little simple things. I tell you, I was in a, I had a, uh, a sports app. You could go on any group in Facebook to suck people out of Facebook, a simple thing. Take your passion, whether it's cricket, uh, volleyball. Uh, softball, whatever, you made a post and the post said, who loves cricket? Comment below. Now, I made a sports app and my question was, what is your favorite NFL team? I had 950,000 responses, almost a million. Wow. Because people were passionate about the team and they didn't think I'm leading them somewhere. Now, I have to admit it, I was leading them somewhere. But <laughs> but I wanted to know, because I think if I ask them a question, it's very, there's no, they're not feeling any kind of pressure, right? People can't wait to tell you. And by, by the way, the biggest fan base of football is uh, Dallas Cowboys, whether anybody likes it or not. They're not even my team, but they were five to one as far as fans that, that actually said what team they loved. The biggest sports football team in the United States, bar none. That's just a little input you get when you do a lot of marketing. But take that anything. Who loves piano? Who loves? 
and people can't wait to tell you. I'm, I'm just telling you. And when they do, you get back to them and say, I've got a group just discusses piano. I've got a group that just talks about cricket. Guys, no joke. Start using your imagination. These little things, little tricks. Who loves to roller skate? I know Dixie Google does. I know that for a fact, right? So you post something like that and people can't wait to tell you. Then you have a group. I'm, I'm, I'm actually left a message for Ash. If we can have groups in uh, Onet, now I know he doesn't want to be like Facebook, but groups are pretty cool if you keep them right. You can get a lot of people to come because you have a lot more in common with people than you think. And you ask stuff that's very, there's no, um, no pressure on anybody to ask them what their favorite sport is. None. What is your favorite instrument? What music do you like? Who likes country? Do you like, who likes country music, right? Milo's going to sign it. Oh, I do. And you'll be surprised what happens. You can get thousands and thousands and thousands of people doing that and say, well, come meet this group. We have 25,000 uh, country Western uh, people in this group that you, you got to come see us. Now you got 50,000. And you do that little things, guys. I'm, I'm only telling you because I've done it and it works. Once they come on your side, once they come to the gate, they're yours for life. Don't think about being free. Free's okay. Uh, Zoom has a free service, and they made $140 billion last year. So free works. Get them in where there's no pressure. Once they're in, they're going to look around this mall called on passive, and they're going to find something they like. It's, it's a guarantee. And we don't even know what the products are. Is it a O phone that costs one half as much as iPhone and has all the gadgets? Maybe. Is it a laptop? Maybe. You know, you know who Ash is. You know what he does. He's going to take what's already there that's being sold for billions and make it better <clears throat> and stronger and higher technology and cheaper. You can't be the guys. There's no co competition. But start using your mind. That's why I like meetings like this. We can bring in all the people we want. What we got to do is get people thinking about what they already have because they don't know. That gentleman that was here about volleyball, he, he left you with a bigger prize than he brought. Guaranteed. Yeah. No, guaranteed. And you'll find that with everyone. You go in, you start a, people thinking. I can see people's face here where they're going, oh, my God, that means I could do this. And that. Yes, that's what, that's what it means. If you're thinking, yes, that's exactly what I mean. Uh, I'm sorry I took so much time, but really, you got to think what the possibilities are mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. And be consistent. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Wow, you know what to do the next one, right? Who loves churches? Who loves real estate? Who loves you? Whatever that you are doing, right? That's how. That's how you start. Thank you so much. Um, bring your past uh, to his own, right? Yeah. Julie? Bring Everyone exactly. said, bring your pastors, bring, bring the deacons, bring the uh, treasures, bring all of them, because I guarantee you, we are going to provide them with a lot, a yep. lot of information. Absolutely. So what it will do. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. I see uh, Leon couldn't raise his, uh, the Zoom hand, but he's raising his physical hand. So Leon, come on down. Yes. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for having me here today. Um, I've been listening to everyone and I invited a coach and he wasn't able to make it today because it was kind of a short notice for him. But um, here's the interesting part. He has an organization called YAC, Youth Athlete in Christ. So what he does, he takes athletes from a very young age and he follow them all the way through high school, through little league, everything, and to college. And he does films on them. And he send these films to the NF to the uh, universities. A lot of people that this is so great for him because if you um, send these uh, the the highlight shots to the all these universities, that some kids would never even get the opportunity. He already got players in the NFL that he helped. M my son was one of the players that he got in the division uh, uh, one school by um, he played at Washington State football because he had his film. So imagine he have uh, 
O, um, um, is it O Connect? He have O Connect, and then yeah. and and he takes the film and he he can send it to multiple universities, multiple schools, and he can follow everything all through. Not only he does uh, football, but he does uh, softball, a uh, baseball, wrestling. So he gets the, all these kids. So now, if the kids don't make it into any of these areas, they part of an organization. And now you got the NFL people come, and it's a nonprofit organization. So it's self-funded by by some of the NFL players. You know, they go back and they uh, make a donation because that organization helped them throughout the throughout the process. Now this tool, on passive, is a great tool in many different areas. The O Mail, the on so also the uh, O Create, the O also the um, the uh, O um, Commerce, and a lot of the people talking about the sports. And you got to buy uniform. You got to buy this. Imagine you now get their link, and you put that link in your back office, and you can buy the products that all these sports need, and now you can make a commission off of the, the product, you know, for having it. So like you said, when we get on here, Marty mentioned it better. This is so great because there's so many ideas and so many possibilities right at our fingertip. And I wish the coach could have got on here because he would have been just in awe because of the, all the possibilities that we have that this could help in sports. And like, like Julie mentioned, Churches, sports, any anything else going to be, we're going to keep getting all these aha moments because there's so many opportunities that that we have uh, and unpassing. So that's all I want to say right now. Awesome, Leon. Thank you so much. <laughs> did, did you guys hear what Leon said on the first thing he said, right? Did you see how he goes from he's a coach? He's follow that comes to film that come to, I mean, there are so many things that will, that this coach, this gentleman can use on on passive and how many lives that he had touched. Right. So yes. really, truly, it's going to open up so much more, not only on the sports side of it, right. Film education. Yep. I mean, exactly. there's so much more. So I really like you to, literally take this conversation today and then listen to it again and literally putting down the notes, taking down the spot, um, you know, the point that we would br bring up here and say, oh, I think this person can be fit in this puzzle. That person can fit in that puzzle, right? And all you got to do is share this video and then bring those points to them and say, oh, I think this may help you on what you're doing right now. And you might not have the fun to do it, but here's a revenue here, here, not the revenues. Here's a venue, what you can just open up more for more things to do, right? So truly think outside of the box. Think outside of the team of Unpassive. Think the value of the products of Unpassive can bring to others people. I really like you to think that because having team or no team right now, it's already over, right? Think about how much impact, how big you can take on passive and share it to other people. And I think if you kind of put your mindset, your thought into that journey, if you don't see on passive, it is there, then I'm not sure what to say, right? Am I right, Milo? <laughs> right. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, uh, Tony is next. I thought you were calling on Tony. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think uh, probably Tony will be the last one because we want to wrap it up. I'd like to talk just a little bit about uh, churches uh, real quick before we end. And uh, so let's let Tony be the last one for today because uh, we've got a lot in, man. It's been good. I'll be, I'll be no. quick, Milo. I'll be very quick. No hurry. Yeah, I, ju I just wanted to say, you know, uh, Milo, Julie, what a great webinar, very informative, extremely informative about what we've been talking about here. Um, and the opportunities are extremely endless with Unpassive. One thing that I've always cherished, and I cherish it even more now that I'm a, a founding member of Unpassive, 
is something that uh, uh, that nothing else compares to, and that's time freedom. When we have time freedom, Unpassive is going to give us time freedom to enjoy our passions, whether that's volleyball or hockey or whatever the case may be, you know, to enjoy our kids or our grandkids, watching them grow up and not worry about, uh, you know, spending all that time at work, for example, right? So that's what I love about this company. I mean, we we are in a great, a great place. And uh, and that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for having me on, Milo and Julie. Great, beautiful webinar. I just, re I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Uh, great point there. Time freedom. That is that is huge. And just like I said before, you know, I don't think you'll be seeing anyone doing anything that they're not passionate about because they don't have to no more, you know. But uh, uh, I, I just want to talk to you about uh, it's 714, so we're almost done. But I want to talk to you a little bit about churches. I know a ton about churches. I grew up as a, a Pentecostal preacher's kid. So I've been in churches my whole life. I was deacon. I was treasurer. And I'm not saying I was a good all the time because I wasn't, okay? I was a preacher's kid, and you know how that is. But uh, anyway, I know all the ins and outs of churches and what makes them run, how they run, things that are important to them. There's no better place to start than with your church because it is an extended arm into the community. And when you can get a church, uh, when you bring a church in and they're able to put all of that funds out there, whether it's uh, food, whether it's uh, how about missionary, you know, foreign mission, they could, they might be in a spot that they're, they're doing a missionary that, uh, you know, there's no one in that, in that place. They're out in a desolate area. What if you're the first to go in there because you brought a church in, they go there and it's going to explode that whole country. Would you like to be that? I would. I mean, that's important, you know. And uh, so what I challenge you is <clears throat> talk to your ministers or whatever. Try to get them on the show, uh, deacons or treasures. Try to get them to the show so that we can get a panel together. I would love nothing more than to have four or five guys there, ministers, that just ask us questions. And just like uh, Doug tonight, you know, they know the problems that are going on. And guess what? We got the solution. We got the solution. I don't care what it is. You know, there is a solution out there. We are the correction to the, or yeah, the correction to the corruption. Uh, so I think it's important for us. Do yourself a favor. See if you can get, if you know a minister, if you know a church, man, try to get them on the show because I can I can promise you it's going to be an eye-opener just like it was tonight for that coach, but it's going to be even more of an eye-opener when we start talking about churches and what it will do for churches. I'm telling you, there's things that probably a lot of you have never even thought of that is going to go, oh my God, I never even thought of that, you know? So uh, next week, or no, that's, when is that? That's Saturday, Julie? That is Saturday, uh, this coming Saturday. And then um, on Wednesday, we're going to do real estate agent loan officers or escrow. That is a huge topic. We have the next topics and topics lined up already, right? We have all those topics that we line up. And if you have one that you have, that you associate to the group of people that you want to say, hey, can you cover this subject, right? Please feel free to send them to myself or Milo and Milo. Do a group chat just so that we can prepare for, for you, right? We have all these topics that we lined up. Remember, uh, a, year be a year ago when Milo and I started the Julie and Milo show, we did 30 videos of how OnPassive can help right? Different subjects, different, all of that. Now we'll bring them back in real life. We'll bring them back. We'll bring not only the topics back, but we bring back with, you know, a real problems, right? Real persons, real discussions, right? So we would love for you to just keep sending in if you like us to cover certain topics. We'll love to do that. So thank you so much, everyone. Do you want to go ahead and uh, say your thank you, your last things you said, Milo, and then said yeah. to me, I'll close it out. Thank you everyone for coming <laughs> tonight, because remember, there would be no Julian and Milo show without each of you. And remember, you are the leaders. Everyone that here is a leader. 
And uh, we're just so thankful that you came here to be with us and, and spend some time with us. And uh, that's it. That's all I got to say. I'll see you next time. I love every one of you. Back to you, Miss Julie Wynn. Take her away. You didn't say Julie Nagaiwin. I you oh, always I that. To say that. <laughs> Julie, Julie, Julie Nagaiwin. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for being here with us. I had a conversation with a, a founder this morning, and uh, sometime we have to change the way we think. What we think put us where we are, right? If you're currently dealing with something difficult, just step away from it a little bit and look back and see how many people are in the world as the worst situation than you are. Truly, if you were looking at it like that, you're gonna see yourself in such a best place, right? And I, this, this morning I talked to this gentleman and I said, if you are looking at on passive, the giant ship that actually gonna carry millions and billions and billions of people in it, there's thousand pieces that needs to put together. It is now looking as a beautiful ship already, but it's missing some piece. Those pieces are there, but it needs to be put in, put together. Let's look at that on passive as a giant ship that's carrying us around through our, our life. Where we are today does not predict or do not, does not dictate what is going to be our future. So before I send you away, Please change your mindset a little bit. Change the way we think. The way we think will put us where we want it to be. So thank you so much. I just want to send that last thought out to everyone. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. We appreciate you. Like Milo said, without you, there's no Julie and Milo show. So we always appreciate you. If you're watching live on Facebook, um, on YouTube, Please subscribe to the channel that you are watching. There are so much more information that we want to share with you. Subscribe, click the bell so that when we come out the video, you'll be the first one to see it. Thank you so much, everyone. Good night from Orange County, California. Good night from Nashville. Good night from Philadelphia. Good night from North Carolina. from Maryland. Good night. from have a blessed evening. Have a blessed day. Bye. 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 B